Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all good. Now we're back with these trays. You would have seen um, a few videos back I did these with foil, adding foil directly onto the silicone to see if it works and how it you know how it comes out then after that you would have seen me using temporary tattoos in resin to see how they come out and on this one I thought I would try painting acrylic paint directly into the molds now I have been told acrylic paint in molds works really well I've seen some people you know like with animal molds or structural structural molds where they get really in there with the paintbrush for the eyes or the nose or the mouth I want to see what it looks like painting directly onto these kinds of molds and just to see what they come out like. I'm really hoping they'll do great. <laughs> we shall see. I am sticking to these because, again, these are the ones I've been using lately. And if anyone has gone ahead and purchased them, just makes it real easy then for you guys to go and do it yourselves. But if you are a really good painter, I'm not. If you are a painter, um, this would work if you are talented enough to paint backwards so you could paint the front of the scene first and work your way back with the depth and then pour the resin if this works like that imagine like you could paint a whole scene in one of these and then pour the resin and it would be stuck there forever my camera is currently struggling to focus so we'll, we'll put that there so hopefully it will give it something to focus on anyway I'm gonna start I'm going to use black acrylic paint only but I have just seen a really cool video. One of my lovely followers on Instagram called Virginia. She is a Jesmonite artist and I cannot wait to try Jesmonite. Jesmonite is on my list for 2021 and I saw one of her creations. So in one of them, in the leopard print, I am going to add gold foil. That will save me using a different colour paint. So a bit of a mixture. Let's go. <laughs> Just to talk you through what I've done so far, this is two coats of black. Here is a close-up. That's two coats of black on each one. This one so far is obviously my favourite. I'm not even a leopard print girl, but wow. Um, this one, this is two coats, but it's still trying to repel 
the black acrylic but yeah I don't know it dries super fast as well so that's another pointer to take from this I'm gonna leave them for about 10 minutes 15 minutes come back and see what they're like and I feel like if this one needs a third coat I'll whack a third coat on um, because what I I don't know what I don't want is that there I don't want that streak so we'll see we'll have a go guys look at this one I'm <laughs> I'm excited for this one and it's not even done yet um yeah I wish you were all here with me I wish this was like a live cute like feedback because then what I'm thinking in my head this one needs to be pink right this needs to be pink that's what I'm thinking but I was going to do this one um zebra and this one tiger so this will be white and this one will be the oranges the browns for the tiger but this one needs to be pink so the resin I'm using in this video is Vuba Vista Cascade cannot get enough of this i've just bought myself a 7.1 liter kit and it is so big it's literally so massive i couldn't film the pouring but i'm using these calibrated cups still this one is so old i'm literally taping it together 400 on part a 200 on part b because i know that these molds take approximately 500 grams or mils roughly thereabouts with a little bit of wiggle room for more so this time around instead of mixing 500 I'm mixing 600 and any leftovers will go into a separate mould. So yeah, I'm going to get to mixing, then separate them out from my different colours. day I did leave this 24 hours but honestly it is 4 p.m. in the afternoon I could have easily demolded these at 9 o'clock this morning this resin was cured enough for me to pull the mold completely away after just seven hours and now I don't know if that's all of your experience but that's the experience I'm getting with Vista Cascade however this morning I woke up at 7 a.m. and I pressed play on Bridgerton <laughs> I'm just letting you all know, I press play on Bridgerton, it's now 4pm, I've just finished the last episode, that's how my day went, how was your day, tell me all about it in the comments, <laughs> oh dearie me, I'm laughing to myself, sorry, anyway, if you don't know, then Google it, it's on Netflix, <laughs> it's so good, anyway, let's get to this, okay, this is the demolding, so this is what they look like from the outside, from the back, should I say, I'm really happy the way this white has finished, Sometimes the opaque white leaves a bit of a mark on the back. I <gasps> okay, <laughs> kind of got excited there. Right, my worry is I want the, oh my goodness me, I want the acrylic paint to have stuck and it has stuck. Look at this. Oh my, oh, come on, come on, do your job. wow 
Wow. Now, I'm just showing you for the sake of showing you. See all that down there? That was obviously debris in the mould that I didn't see. But, oh, how gorgeous is that? I'm excited. So that is, the acrylic paint is well and truly in there. It's it's so in there. It's unbelievable. Wow, I love it. I am going to give these top coats because I always do like to give a little top coat just to get rid of any marks that I've just made with a, with a glove. I kept gloves on because I thought fingerprints might mark, but the gloves have marked as well. Which one next? Which one next? I want. I feel like I need to leave this one till last. <laughs> I wish you were here with me now live so I could ask you live. So this is the back of what the tiger one looks like. Oh, look at that. I hope it looks that amazing at the front. Mm, ready. Steady. Oh, oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, wow. Bring you up close. Oh my goodness, look at the shine. I don't see any brown. Well, I kind of do see brown. What? Wow. Just wow. Now, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm thinking about this because I have in the past demolded resin and then gone onto the cured resin with my acrylic paint and then top coated. You can, of course, you can do that. But what this does, it gives a smooth, like, look at this finish. Smooth. Smooth as you want finish. If I was to demold a blank brown and orange and then go in with a paintbrush, I'd get marks, I'd get streaks. Depends on what you want your finish to be. These are smooth. Smooth. And look at the cloudy effect of the orange and the brown and the gold underneath. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, pierce the resistance. I don't know if this has worked either. I have not flipped this over. You are seeing it for the first time with me. I have never used this bright magenta. Are you ready? Oh, please let this have worked because this is the foil as well. Okay, let's go. Together. And a one. Oh. <sighs> Held my breath there for a minute. Look at this guys come on look at that the smoothness I honestly am um, head over heels now if you look closely you'll see some pink bleeding under that foil it doesn't take anything away I think it still looks pretty cool but to avoid that you could, if you wanted to, put down a layer of resin, put your foil down, wait for that to cure. But me and Patience, we don't go together. This is a wow for me. An absolute wow. They all are. I am... I don't mean to get too carried away, but I get so excited when I try something and it works that I want to scream. And I can't explain that, but it... I just want to scream. <laughs> I'm just going to show you quickly how I finish these off. I'm going to pour a top coat of resin into each of these because for me it gives them just a little bit more wow factor. Wow factor. Um, you get that ultra shine when you put the little bit of resin in each, blast it with your torch. It, it's a pow. It's a wow moment. This is what I finish them off with. I get these from Amazon. These are... 3M dots, rubber dots. So on the back of each one, I will put dot, 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 dot. Once the inside is cured, I've left them for a day or two to make sure they are as solid as they're ever going to be in their life. Then I put the dots on. And oh my goodness me, I'm about as excited as I could possibly be right now.
in um, to another room because I feel like I am overspilling. <laughs> I'm taking over the house. Is anyone else taking over the house? It's ridiculous. Like once I get my craft room sorted, I've just bought all my new desks and I'm really hoping that within the next week or two, my craft room will get a complete makeover. So I'm hopefully going to bring you that as well. Anyway, this is what they look like the next day. So when I pour that top coat, I leave them overnight with this piece of plastic board over just to stop any dust from attracting itself to them. And here we go. Look at that! Is that not just wow? Top coat in these really is personal preference. You do not have to do this. But for me personally, any marks in the mold, any little imperfections show up. So a little top coat just gets rid of it all. And I love, love the finished effect with the top coat. What do you think? Let me know. So Vista, this is Vista Cascade that I've used. Um, but Vista actually have a brand new resin that have just been launched on Monday morning. And I managed to get me some. So hopefully that will be with me tomorrow. It's their brand new top coat. Again, not sponsored. They're not paying me. But I just love this resin. So cannot wait to try their brand new top coat, which is called Coty. And I'm hoping... This video will be with you Wednesday night. I'm hoping that Thursday morning I'll, I will get my delivery of Coty. So at the weekend, Saturday, hopefully, I will bring you a video of me using the Coty. I've got a couple of trays left over here that still need to be top coated. So I'm going to use their new resin for that. And hopefully that video will be with you on Saturday. If you've enjoyed this one and yeah, I'm really hoping you feel it was just as easy as I'm saying it was to paint these silicon moulds with the paint before pouring and the finish well the finish just speaks for itself anyway i'm gonna stop talking and i will see you in the next video guys i hope you've enjoyed take care don't forget to comment down below see you in the next video bye